<laughs> She's not letting you go. No. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let, let's keep going. This is not awkward now that you know what she's been up to. <laughs> so you're about to be asked for huh? You must be. You, you must be pr pretty excited about all that, huh? Not awkward at all. <laughs> I know what you're up to. I know what you did last summer. Wait. Wait, what? <laughs> you're, you're final, finally. You're finally gonna go home. Stop following me. Go away! <laughs> what? Right! I mean, um, I. I was just going to, um, say goodbye, um. I can't take this anymore. Uh. I like to you. Oh, really? <laughs> A human soul isn't strong enough to crush the very alarm. It takes a little who's at least a human soul and a monster soul. No, he doesn't. <laughs> He's just a bad liar. <laughs> if you want to go home, you'll have to take this soul. You'll have to kill Asgore. No, I won't! Oh, hell no! <laughs> I'm sorry. I won't kill Asgore. Bloop, bloop. Bloop, bloop. We won't kill Asgore just because she says so. Because I don't trust her. <laughs> Gee, I wonder why you don't trust her anymore. This is the, a long elevator. I mean, it was Metatron that said it, but still. Well, he didn't really have much to lose in the end, did he? No, he didn't. Oh, we are up. And now for a very, very interesting part of the game, actually. Yeah, see. Castle elevator. Huh, they didn't say the old... Uh... Determination thing. Nope. That at least doesn't work. Cue the idealistic music. It should start sometime soon. But it's repeating over and over again. The background. Oh, right. oh. I don't actually remember this very well, but you're going through the capital right now. Oh, okay. Very silent. Oh, safe spot. New, New home. home. Yep, yep. This music. Yep. Let me go around it. Does this seem familiar at all? It does. A long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. Took the key and put it in your phone's keychain. Before you use the key, I'd, uh, yeah. I'd uh, suggest you explore the rest of the house. Israel, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. Israel, 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 uh, Israel. Israel. Close now. Israel. Yeah. I'll keep that in mind. There's a hard shit logged inside the box. Asriel? You'll take it. This is the final uh, armor we get. Oh, okay. And the other one is the final weapon we get. A worn dagger. An actual weapon. <laughs> and you'll equip both of those. Just... <laughs> and we don't have any cinnamon buttons. Oh. I love the music. Oh yes, this is this is one of the best pieces, like yes. non-theme music. There's two beds in here now. Yep. There are lots of striped shirts in here, because that means kids. Yeah. It's a family photograph. Everyone is smiling. Dusty toys. Room under renovations. The key. Oh, that's another key. Oh, yeah. huh. I have to go here. Over time, Asriel and the human became like siblings. The king and the queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. I get the feeling we're going towards the final. We get a lot of backstory here that we didn't yeah. get otherwise. Just 
it's just pretty good with keychain. There's actually a diary in here, I believe. But it's a trophy! Number one nose nozzle champs. I've heard that. That was the two dogs, they got second two They got second place. Yeah, but this is the first one. Yep. It's a bureau. There's a Santa Claus outfit inside. Santa delivered presents. Yep. Santa lives here. It's a clothes drawer. There are ropes, button-up shirts, and a pink hand-knitted sweater that says Mr. Dad Guy. It's a king-sized bed. Huh. It's Ascor's journal. All the current pages says... Nice day today. <laughs> yep, the ink is still almost wet. Oh. Well, you have all the keys now. Nope, you can't go in there. Okay. Interestingly, the the rooms that were on, on the renovation were reversed in the other house. Oh. You unlock the chain. There's an old calendar from the end of 2010X. A date is circled on it. What date, we don't know. But that was also circled around that thing. The bookshelf was on the other side, like over here. No, no. Yes, it was. Yep. It was? Oh, I've been here many times. Then, one day, the human became very ill. Oh. The sick human had only one request, to see the flowers from the village. But there was nothing we could do. The next day, the next day, hmm. the human died. Aww. Israel, racked with grief, absorbed the human soul. He transformed into a being with incredible power. With the human soul, Asriel crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset, back to the village of the humans. Asriel reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. Golden flowers. Hmm? We land. We started in golden Suddenly, flowers. Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Asriel holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. Humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Israel had the power to destroy them all. But Israel did not fight back. Clutching the human, Israel smiled and walked away. This is sad. It is. Bitch, <laughs> right feels. Wounded, Asriel stumbled home. <laughs> he entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. Oh No, that means he died! Oh, that's right in the field! It's a really sad story. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything from us. The king decided this was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. It's not long now. King Asker will let us go, will give us hope, will save us all. This Good damn so it, sad. who's cutting onions in here? It's so sad! You should be smiling too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? No, I'm not. It's so sad. 
You're going to be free. I think they all think you're still... Yeah, I think they think you're a monster. Ah, uh, well, those don't work. Save. <sighs> the last corridor. This is so sad. I know. I mean... I'm really frustrated with the feels. <laughs> I mean, I feel like our, the characters really want to go home, but at the same time, I feel really bad for the monsters. Like, really bad. So, you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now, <laughs> you'll be judged. What? You'll be judged for every action for your area action. You will be just for every ex EXP you've earned. What's EXP? It's an acronym. It stands for Execution Points. But we didn't a, kill anyone. A way of quantifying the pain you have inflicted on others. When you go kill someone, your EXP increases. When you have enough EXP, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for Level of Violence. A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The, m the more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. Oh. <laughs> he be judging you. Oh. But you, you never gave any love. Of course, that doesn't mean. Of course, that doesn't mean you completely innocent and naive. Just that you kept a certain tenderness in your heart. No matter the struggles or hardship you faced, you strive to do the right thing. You refuse to hurt anyone. Even when you ran away, you did it with a smile. You never gained love, but you gained love. <laughs> Does that make sense? No. <laughs> Maybe not. Hmm. Now. You're about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. Your actions here will determine the fate of the entire world. If you refuse to fight, Asgore will take your soul and destroy humanity. But if you kill Asgore and go home, monsters will remain trapped underground. What will you do? Oh, I Well, can't. if I were you, I would have thrown in the towel by now. But you didn't get this far by giving up, did you? That's right. You have something called determination. Ah, <laughs> gee, I wonder why. <laughs> so as long as you hold on, so as long as you do what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. All right, we're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. Keep going. <sighs> this really. That suddenly became heavy, eh? It really hits a home run, <laughs> you know. After all this, now we're coming down to this. I mean, I'm, I'm so tired, I can't cry, but if I wasn't so tired, I would cry. <laughs> Throne room. Go to the right first. Wait with saving. I want you to see something first. Silence. Yep. It's a coffin. There's a name engraved on it. Elaine. It's empty. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Okay. See? Throne entrance. It actually gives you a lot of save points here, so no worries. Keep going. Okay. Dum de dum. Oh, is someone there? Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are. Howdy. How can I? 
Oh. I so badly want to say, would you like a cup of tea? But you know how it is. Nice day today, huh? <laughs> Birds singing, flowers are blooming, perfect weather for a game of catch. I, I can't bring myself to kill that guy. That's too nice. You know what we must do. When you are ready, come into the next room. I, I don't want to fight this guy. Well, you don't really have a choice in regards to the game. Yeah, I know, but I really don't want to. I think it gives you a lot of save point. It's a throne. Oh, really? Also, take that. It's another throne covered by a white sheet. I think that has something to do with that... Uh, I can't remember her name from the start. Toriel? T t Toriel. Toriel? That's yeah. her name, yeah. Because it's the same species, and we haven't seen anybody else than Toriel and him. You're a sharp, I'll give you that. We haven't seen anyone else besides those two. How... how tense. And Toriel's a female. And that's a male, because you can hear that because of the blah, tones of blah, the... Blah, 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 blah. blah. <laughs> so... They have a connection. And also because he has a beard. Also because he has a magnificent <laughs> beard. Magnificent. Just... Think of it like a visit to the dentist. I don't like dentists. Long and painful. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's another save point, point right across, uh, right around the corner. I believe. Yeah. Are you ready? If you are not, I understand. I am not ready either. You'll save and we'll stop here. It's a bit early, but this is the final battle. Okay. The final level. So, for now, <laughs> deep breaths, everyone. <laughs> Those feels, though. This got dark. This got and deep. Deep. And sad. <laughs> Very fast. Oh, it's yeah. like everything after Metatron's just like, sadness. Starting with Metatron. Starting with Metatron. Metatron actually didn't make it better with the sadness. Mm. That was a touching moment. Yeah. But yeah, for now, everyone, um, we'll be right back with the next session. And yes. uh, final battle against Ascor. Ascor! <sighs> Until the next time, please do cheer up, take care, and uh, we'll see you by then. Bye for now. Bye! Right in the fields. I swear this hits a home run. <laughs>